Hello, I'm back again with another video about my horizontal boring mill. Um, in this video, I'd actually like to get some of the viewers involved um, and ask their opinion, at least the ones that have had experience with this before. Um, in the last video, the last update I gave about a week or two ago, I uh, mentioned that I'd taken the weight covers off and had seen the tableways for the first time and that I was surprised that they were soft and looked like they'd been scraped. Um, well, that's an indication that they're soft. They would have been scraped at the factory. Um, I'd also mentioned that they looked like they were in really good shape, but I feared that uh, they'd simply been reflaked at some time because the marks looked constant over the whole length and I would expect that they would be worn out in the middle where the table spends most of its life. This boring mill is, I believe, about 50 years old. I would expect to see that the ways here would be sort of smoothed off and there wouldn't be many scraping marks or flaking marks left in the middle. But the flaking, scraping, whichever it is, is actually very consistent along the whole length. And I feared that someone in the past had just gone and reflaked it. And when I talk about scraping and flaking, in my mind, what the difference is, is that when you're scraping, you're doing it with uh, bluing and a master flat surface, and you're trying to make the, the way flat or straight or parallel to another way by um, printing it and then scraping off the high spots. Whereas flaking, in my mind is just going along and making little marks in the top of a surface without checking it for flatness, simply for oil retention so that uh, the two components slide over each other more smoothly. Uh, that's one of the reasons why you have those, uh, you know, if, if you scrape a surface in, you have all those little marks that hold oil. If you've machined a surface, you can then go flake it um, not for accuracy, but also for oil retention. And I'd feared that maybe they just reflaked these and not actually rescraped them. This is, uh, after I posted that video, I started thinking about it. And uh, this is the first machine I've ever owned that has boxways. And so I started thinking about how the boxways work and what I could, you know, was there any measurements I could take to try and get a feel for how worn out this is? One thing I can't do is measure straightness. I just do not have a long straight standard that I can use as a comparison. And these ways are 84 inches long, so they're, they're quite long. And I don't have anything like that. So, <clears throat> over to the whiteboard. Drawn a diagram of the ways in section view. And when you have boxways, one of them is the master and the other one is not the master, slave. I'm not sure what you'd call it, but the difference between them is that um, the master guides in two planes and the non-master only guides in one plane. So on the master, the top is accurately made, the bottom is accurately made, and obviously the table sits on there and rides on this surface. And then the table has a keeper plate that goes under here to prevent uplift. So these surfaces are going to be very flat and straight. And the two together are gonna to be very parallel because when you put the keeper plate on, if the parallelism is out, in some places it's gonna bind up, in other places it's gonna be loose. So when it's new, that and that surface would be very parallel. Uh, on the master way, these surfaces are also finished and they would be very parallel as well because there's a fence, whatever you want to call it, comes down from the table that rides on this side and on this side is a tapered gib which you use to remove the clearance. Again, they need to be very straight so that the table moves in a straight line and they need to be parallel so that, again, the table doesn't lock up in certain places and be loose in others. The non-master just carries the weight and has a keeper to prevent uplift. So same as on the master, straight, uh, flat, straight, and parallel. So I can't measure the straightness of this way 
of, of this surface or this surface. But what I can do is I can measure the width and the thickness and just the thickness on this one and see. And if the machine was 50 years old and had never been rebuilt, then I would expect to see this dimension be smaller near the middle of the way and same with this dimension that it should decrease near the middle of the way because of wear and the same here that this should decrease near the middle and be thicker near the outsides near the ends of the way so um, I divided the ways into five locations and I took those measurements Here's a, here's a diagram of the measurements I took. So that's the master way, and that's the non-master. There's the bed and the column. So essentially that diagram is drawn just the way we're looking at the machine here. I made five locations and measure them. The width of the master varies by half a thou over 84 inches. The thickness varies by three tenths over 84 inches. And on the non-master way, the thickness, well, the thickness varies by almost a thou. Uh, but what I found was that this measurement at location five was a bit of an outlier it seemed way off compared to the other ones. So I moved over six inches and remeasured, and I got this value. And using that value, then the total variation is four tenths over, well, 84 less six, over 78 inches. The variation is four tenths in thickness. Uh, and it's not trending to be thin in the middle. Like you would think that all the measurements taken at location three would be the smallest measurements but it's not the case um, so I have a feeling that these ways were actually re-scraped at some point um, and you know they got them at least the, the the parallelism between the surfaces very close um, The one thing I'm not sure of, now if, if, if I knew that this machine was this age and had never been rebuilt, I'd be very confident that these ways are in great shape and they're very straight. But I believe it's been re-scraped. And all I know, all I can tell from the measurements I've taken is that the surfaces are very parallel. Um, I have a printout of a boring mill test sheet uh, that gives you all the um, alignment checks that the manufacturer makes when they build a new one. And the straightness of these ways is given as 8 tenths over 40 inches with an additional 4 tenths uh, for any additional 40 inches. So. Essentially what that means is that a set of ways that are 80 inches long, and these ones are 84, so that's very close, could be out of straight by one thou and two tenths over that length. Now I can't measure that straightness, but I am getting my parallelism is less than half a thou over that length. Um, again, it's a bit speculative I'm relying on the skill of the guy who rebuilt this to not only get the surfaces parallel but to get them straight um, and I was just wondering if there was anybody out there who's been involved with this type of work maybe has rebuilt machine tools or aligned them maybe worked in a factory where they built them and would have any comments on this um, I think my thinking is fairly sound um, my gut feeling is that it's probably in good shape um, I would think that if someone 
a machine tool rebuilder took the time to get the parallelism that close that they probably got it very straight as well um, but anyways if you have any thoughts on this please leave a comment I'd be interested to know uh, what you guys think um, the proof will be eventually when I get the thing put back together and I start machining parts and I can uh, one of the things you can do is you can set a part up on the machine that's kind of long and you can take a facing cut down down one side then flip it over dial the back side in parallel to the travel machine the other side with a facing cut and then measure the width of the part when you're done and check the distance between the two machine surfaces and if they aren't the same then you know your travel is out it's not straight and it should be out of straightness by half the difference that you measure on the part now on my horizontal milling machine down there my green one um, over about a three foot length I get a variation in thickness when I do that of oh three to four thou so I know the travel is one and a half to two thou out of straight um, this one we'll have to see I think it may be better than that but anyways if you'd like leave a comment I will uh, at the end of the video I'll post a picture of my uh, chart with all my measurements on it if anybody cares to look at it but uh, anyways thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video